everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. Today for you, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this really fun negative space manicure that is great for any time of the year. So of course you wanna start off with your base coat and then your base color. So I'm gonna be using a kind of what I would refer to as a your nails but better sort of base where it kind of just perfects your nail bed and I'm using the Orly rose colored glasses because it's like my favorite and it works really great with my nail tone I would say I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna grab some white acrylic paint and put a squiggle line on it I guess that's what you would call this a very curved line kind of just let your brush go with the flow go ahead and take this step pretty slow so you can get a pretty crisp line but if it's not super crisp don't stress about it you can kind of just fix it with your nail pull, like with um, a dotting tool or something, but really it doesn't need to be perfect. Then I'm going to go in and follow the same line with a different color. I am using the shade of orange, and of course you guys could use anything. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I did use acrylic paint for these steps, which allows more time for me to actually do this because it will like, it dries quickly, but not as quick and stickily stickly <laughs> as nail polish would you definitely have more time to work with it and get it precise so go with it and if you don't have a like a good brush on hand you could use a dotting tool and just kind of like dot this line on or a toothpick and that would look really nice too um, brush wise I am using the what's up nails dance 24 brush which is like my go-to brush for like all the nail art then the next step is we're going to add in some little hearts. So I have a, I want to say it's like a four piece set of daughter, daughters that I will have linked down in the description box below. They're from Amazon. And I'm using the green tool and the smaller one on the green tool. So what I did is I put two dots at the top of what's going to be the heart and then I used my brush and brought the heart down and filled it in. I kind of like forgot to film it there so I'm going to show it here quickly. You guys can just see I just come down from the dots and make a little triangle and then you have a heart. I did about two kind of per nail. It was just kind of up to you and how much negative space you have. Next up, before we put on top coat, I actually wanted to tell you guys about a new top coat. I have recently been using the new Zoya, what is this one called? It is called the Naked Manicure Ultra Glossy Seal Top Coat that they sent to me around Christmas time and I really, really like it. It's got a really nice, thick, shiny finish to it and it goes on super well. And also a fun fact about this one is that it has a white lid, which is different for Zoya. And it has the big wide brush as the default brush. So I'm super excited about that. I did actually put it on in this video, which you guys are going to see up next. However, for the photos, I ended up switching to a matte top coat so I could get the design to look better on camera. But yeah, just wanted to kind of fill you in on this top coat because it just applies so well. I love the brush and I, I just want them to change to this brush permanently for all the polishes because I love it. But that is it for this design. As you guys can tell from my video, you can definitely do shiny or a matte. I did shiny then for photos. I wanted matte, so I switched it. And here is the final look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!